are we really talking about tiers? I don't, I don't care about tiers. It's really what, what is competitive that you're either going to want to play That's at regionals. That's in the form of tiers. That's usually talked about in the form of tiers, but like when you're talking about tiers competitively, it's usually tier one or tier zero. Yeah. Maybe tier two. And quite frankly, for competitive, you really want to look at tier one or tier zero if it's a tier zero format. <laughs> Okay, are we going to yep. talk about the thing? Because, I mean, people who are listening <clears throat> to this, they're not going to see the car drive. No, they're not. They're going to see whatever I put on screen right. because I, I don't have any footage okay, happening. there was a license plate on a car. Dude, it's, it's not dominant. important. Let's let's stick to the point. So anyway, when we start, if you if you talk about tiers, then you have to argue about which is what tier. If you just talk about what's competitive, you can kind of That's leave I mean, that out. Like, with you don't Vanguard, have to... it's a little harder to define the tiers yeah. just because... Yeah anything can top. Right. I mean, I think most people would agree that things like Chaos Breaker and Battle Sisters or whatever are competitive and what you're going to see. Yeah. But reasonable people will argue as to where they fit on the tier. I'd but call both of them tier one. Yeah. Those are tier one. I'd call... If we were going with tiers, I'd say yeah. those two are both but tier see, one. But see, we don't have to go to tiers because no. you, you can have some people with that's tier zero and blah, blah, blah. No, it... We don't have a tier anyway, zero deck. Because, like, what happened, We the, the whole reason this came about is a couple guys who have kind of faded out from the game wanted to get ready for Team League. And so they wanted to know they wanted what to be prepared. decks... Right. They wanted to know what decks could they play... And what uh, they would have to and face. And what they're going to face. And okay. so rather than have to go through that all with one guy, Let's I figured we could just do a video this. or whatever, and they could just... Just point them to that and be like, there you go. Okay, these are the decks you're going to probably see a lot of at regionals. Uh, Chaos, Chaos Breaker, Breaker. Battle Sisters. Oh, yeah. uh, Kagero, um, Overlord. Oh, Overlord's definitely going to be there. Link Joker decks, the Leaders, Messiah. Uh, you're going to see Chaos Breaker the most. Yeah. The leaders are Messiah. technically the cheapest if you don't play Egord, but if you want to win, you play Egord. Yeah. Which makes it. The uh, leaders are oh. cheaper. Yeah. I mean, the leaders, I think, is really They're good, but deck. a lot of people don't yeah, play them, so I don't. I don't think most people will see them. The yeah. Are it's just so hard to get the the uh, the Egords, which yeah. you really need, and you need two if you want to win. Yeah. And I mean, Messiah has a really good matchup against Chaos. But, but deleters murder it, yeah. and then deleters also hard check chaos. Yeah. So it acts as an anti-meta because it hard checks pretty much everything. Yeah. But I mean, that's always what deleters have been. It's just they didn't have the the advantage engine to really work with it. Well, I had some people though talking online that think Messiah is maybe a little bit stronger than it is. Not that it's a bad deck, but they thought it was a little stronger just because it has such a good matchup against chaos, and it's mm. like. Just because you kind of negate what Chaos does doesn't mean that you're that great against everybody else. Okay. Um, Here, I mean, if it was a tier 0 or a tier 0.5 format, sure, and Chaos is the only thing like it was in Japan, but we're not in Japan's format where it was like that, so right. it's you don't need to necessarily hard check the, the Chaos matchup like that because right. there's more than just that. Well, it'll also it'll be interesting since it's team league. <clears throat> if you're not facing the chaos guy across the the table, then <laughs> you just gotta win your match. Yeah, it's kind of gonna be irrelevant. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, or if you are the chaos guy, yeah. you, you I just mean that that'll be pretty funny if you sit at the table and you're the chaos guy, and <laughs> one over is the messiah. You're just gonna, yeah. You're, you're not just gonna breathe up a <laughs> sigh of relief. You're gonna be like, wow, I just dodged a bullet there. I mean, last time I went to Team League, I was the Revenger guy, and I didn't yeah. have to deal with the Revenger guys for whatever reason, so it was the easiest sweeping. Yeah. Okay, let's talk <clears throat> about how the Japanese Team League turned out. Yeah. They had some pretty weird decks that they were playing. Uh, I don't know Raven what any of it Asia. was. Well, I mean, the thing about Team League, though, in general, is uh, since it's three team members and it's best two out of three games, that means if two of the team members win, the other yeah. guy can get carried. 
So you can have teams where one guy's deck is not really up to snuff, but they're able to get over because the other two guys carry them. Um, the other thing is the the team league tournaments. They, I mean, they're having a bunch of their regionals so far, and we don't know yet how big those individual events are. The, they're just posting the the results in the deck profiles. Yeah. So I mean, there there's a bunch. I think I think you have to be careful looking at any one result. You have to kind of look at a few of them to see what the trends are. Um, and I think the trend is most of the decks we were talking about earlier. That's not to say that, you know, there aren't some outliers that pop up from time to time. Um, just like, you know, there's some outliers that pop up in the regular tournaments out there, you know, where Spike Brothers will top or something like that. But, you know, realistically, I don't think you're going to see a lot of Spike Brothers at Team League. Will you see some? Probably, but is it something you need to, you know, really worry about? I don't know. No, uh, they're probably just the Maverick player or the the person who's being carried by the rest of the team. Yeah. Not that they can't do well on their own, but... Right. I mean, Blasters is still doing pretty well in Japan, but it seems like most people here have kind of moved off from Blasters right now, so... I'm happy with that. Blasters hard checks to leaders. I don't, I don't know that there's a lot of people who are going to be playing Blasters. Just to Messiah check players, that. Since chaos. there's going to be so many Chaos Breaker yeah. players, they want to one up the Chaos Breaker players and get an insanely good matchup against them. Well, actually, that's so short-sighted, though. Well, on the flip side, but is it one also thing. Does good against other decks. Well, we have to also mm. think like not what is available to play right this second, but what will be available yeah. once regional start. Oh. See a ton of well, yes, Chaos that's and what I was gonna say. Mega Colony too. Yeah. yeah, Dark Face Gridora, and then to a much lesser extent, Machinings. Uh, but Dark Face Gridora, we're gonna see a lot of. Yeah. Um, we might see a couple of Tachis. Tachis will be pretty strong for going into that. The... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna play. Yeah. Yeah, I was really surprised though. I mean, the Tachi when you play it, it's it's really good, but there are not a lot of Tachi tops in Japan. I don't know. What well, it that's depends about. on the player, and I mean, not a lot of players. It looks like pick up Tachi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, in terms of other recent decks, I mean, Gold Paladin seemed like it got, you know, Gurgo it got a bunch of support, and it definitely. Has got a bunch of things to work around lock, but yeah. it doesn't seem like there's a ton of people playing it. It's Gurgwit. Yeah. Gurgwit's um, weird to work with. I think people don't realize how good Tachis are. Like. Well, no, that's because they've been like one of the worst clans throughout yeah. Vanguard history. Right now, uh, until recently. Really good. Yeah. to see uh, whether or not some of the, the clans that get support in uh, the sets that are coming out right away um, knock some of these other guys out of the way um, or if the, the group of, of decks that are topping grows uh, I mean it does seem like a lot of decks that overall would be good do uh, have real problems with control decks like Kagero and Chaos and Deleters, and so I, I think I think those are going to get resigned to casual play for the moment. And <laughs> as much as people like those decks, they're not going to feel like they can really bring them to tournament to play. What were the top three tonight, though? Uh, Battle Sisters. I know um, David was playing That Kagero. was Kagero. Oh, and then more. wasn't Karen, uh, or Karan, uh, Karan, third? Yeah, what was yeah, he playing? He was playing the same thing. He was playing Kagero. Oh, he was doing Overlord Who was well? third? Were you third? No, that was Mike. 
Mike oh, that's was right. Third, oh, Dallin was fourth. Oh, okay, so Mike was playing Gears, Gear Chronicle. Yeah, that makes sense. Which, I mean, that honestly, that's interesting. You know, we haven't talked about Gear Chronicle at all, and you don't see them nearly as much as you did well, ZTB's like two months been ago. Back down. But uh, I mean, ZTB was pretty good for a while when people were were just doing, you know, the multi attacks, and they had kind of forgotten all about time leap. Um, uh, but yeah, it seems like a lot of those players have, have kind of moved on to other decks for the moment. But ZTB is still really good, um, and I think I think time leap could be really good. I wonder I wonder if once we get, you know, set fourteen. If people will start uh, playing gears again, especially I think we'll with see dust. once dust drops. I think we'll see the multi-attack tactics from Dark Zone yeah. really shine, yeah. especially stuff like Time Leap, where you can go, "Oh, you have one thousand power? Cool. Poke for eleven. Poke for eleven. Poke for eleven. Poke for eleven. Poke for 11. Oh, that's right. It's only one. So, yeah, no, yeah. it's, it's the leader of Dodd's Aerith Dragon. Yeah. yeah. So, the other thing we haven't talked about, but that reminds me, is Aquaforce. Yeah, that's true. I mean, true. Thavis is really good. Yeah. I mean, Thavis with all the resist units and the the stride resist call. Uh, and then you still have ex access to Megiddo. Right. Where you just go, oh, yeah, call five units to the field. Yeah, Let's go attack. Well, and Alexandros is like Lambros on steroids. I mean, late That's game. Right. I mean, you're you're putting tons of numbers on these cards. Yeah. You know, plus twenty, plus thirty, plus forty. I mean, it's nuts. So, I mean, I think I think that one's really good. I mean, I think Thavis is definitely the strongest variant. But uh, Blue Wave isn't bad at all, uh, and Valios is skill to lock you at eleven. Um, Definitely good. makes the multi attacks easier to get off, and and it also is a hard counter to things like uh, angel feathers that try and gain power, power yeah. and turtle that way. True. Well, I think that's circle, right? I think that's true with a, a bunch of, of the newer cards. Like, I didn't realize in the, in the tournament tonight, I was playing my Battle Sisters against um, David, and... He can uh, choose a circle instead of choosing right. well, I called unit. Right, I called my resist unit yeah. as a booster, thinking, you know, I'll just he have this one it. column, and he can't touch it, and then he rode to three, and he's like, okay, retire that guy, and I'm like, what? How? It's got resist. Choose circle. And he's like, no, I choose the circle. I'm like, oh, okay. Check up on, but yeah. I mean, that works, it's definitely really I, I, oh, think, yeah. I think the bigger issue is that a lot of the newer plans that just got support in this last set and who are getting support in the upcoming sets have hard counters to Link Joker. I mean, I was looking at some of the gold paladin cards, and there's a whole bunch now that Where target they're just circles. Returning circles, yeah. Um, and then the, the Right. Well, and then also the rare grade three militant dragon. I mean, he just sends everybody back and unlocks them. <clears throat> Vanguard or yeah. rearguard. Yeah. 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 Nova so, grapplers are getting that same G guardian in the next set too. Yeah. I mean, Aqua Force has a G guardian like that too, where you can flip over a circle or a card or damage. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's really multi. Multi-purpose, yeah. So, so yeah, I think I think lock lock is obviously still useful. It's being creeped out, but uh, there there are more ways.
way is around it. It's not like you're backed into a corner now with lock the way it might have been before, where you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I kind of wish that they had... No. I think I think Stargate comes out like the week after or something. I think we're at sneak when uh, when Chicago Regionals happens. Stargate came out in February. Does it? I think it comes Oh maybe you're right. Yo no, I think you're right. It's February twenty third. Yeah, and Nation comes out this twenty third. Right, right. No, so yeah, that would be true. We would get it before. Maybe it was set. Maybe it was set fourteen. I was thinking that we weren't going to get in time. Yeah, yeah I think I don't that's think the we case. Will get fourteen in time. No, fourteen. I don't think yeah. we get in time. But yeah, I think we. You're right. We do get Stargate. So Link Joker is going to show up more because of. Right, they're going to have new support. Oh yeah, no, all three of the Link Jokers are getting support in that. Yeah. And so, I mean, who else is in there? I mean, uh, Gallop's going to be there with his thirteen k body. Right. So you'll have. Hey. Uh, so D police is in there, and then Nova Grapplers. <laughs> oh, you'll have D robots show up too, right? Because they're getting a whole bunch of support from that. D robots, Gallops getting a fantastic load of support. Now, Might I see Blau. I haven't actually. seen much Nova stuff. So the Blau stuff they revealed does that look like it's really gonna? The Peach is actually good? decent. Yeah. It's um, PG Blau. So whatever you, well, you choose a blow yeah. and it can't be touched or it can't be hit. And then you can also, I think that was, it's secondary effect is if you have a sentinel in the drop zone after you do the PG part, yeah. it chooses one of your units and it goes, okay, resist and this unit can't be hit. And I think it's specifically wow. rear guards. So it's like a dismal built in. It's a dismal PG. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. cool. No, you won't. So you won't have to. Yeah. I mean, you weren't really doing it before. I mean, there's so. not that many units really. That you desperately need to save Mars, you know, on that turn. So. Yeah. Um, if you're playing against a Zoo Nation clan, always hold the PG in case they decide to. Soa. Soa you. Yeah. Then you can just guard the giant rear guard and be done I with mean, it. I think yeah. so. Is Well, I mean, it definitely seems like... I mean, we were talking about different competitive decks. I mean, there's definitely different competitive Xeroth Dragons. I mean, Drachma is much better than Megiddo. And both of them are better than Zoa. And I think Dust is better than everybody. I was going to say, I think Dust is the best one yeah, so far. Dust, I think, is the best. Drachma would be next. Then Megiddo. And then Zoa's last. I mean, Zoa's not terrible, but compared to the other ones, it's like, really? Is that all you do? Um, yeah. I mean, Dust is like, Dust is just like, all the other ones are like, you know, uh, looking at Dust and going, man, you, you just get everything. So you wonder, like, what, what the other ones are going to be like. I, I got to think the United Sanctuary one, when that's finally revealed, yeah, it has to be good. is going to be awesome. I yeah. mean... It's Aichi stuff, so, I mean... Well, Aichi's probably not going to be playing it. It's still Royal well, Star United but Sanctuary. yeah, it's going to be the only Xeroth Dragon that Aichi could play, because it's United Sanctuary. So it's it's going to be good. They're not going to give him some lame Xeroth Dragon. And it's got to be something that works for all the United Sanctuary well, things. It have to be Aichi Xeroth Dragon? Well, you know what I mean. I mean, it's main... It's, it's the ultimate main character thing. I mean, Royals have always gotten a lot of support. I mean, its name is called is Ultima. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With a name like Ultima. Yeah, it, it better be good. I mean, you can't you can't name it Ultima and then have it be lackluster. I don't know how they're going to incorporate every clan's signature effect into it. I don't think they are doing that anymore. I think I, they I did think that for the first two. Angel Feather is just going to get dumped out of that. Uh, shadows are probably going to get dumped out of it too. Well, I mean, all those all those paladins call. So if it if it does some sort of superior calling, but then, that's not where shadows lie with their strength. That's how they fuel they fuel their right. Effects. They bring lots of stuff out. So maybe maybe it'll let you bring lots of stuff out, and then for shadows, it'll let you kill them, or it'll kill them <laughs> as a cost. Yeah. I don't know. Good 
question. Yeah. There's all sorts of stuff. I mean, if they try to do that, they could have you look at the top cards. They could have you call units. I mean... They could have you soul manage. But it's got to be better than some of the GB8s for those clans. So it can't just be like, look at top card, five cards, and call three, because... I mean, we already have non-ultimate strides that do that. So I was going to say. It's got to be better than that. That's like inferior to my GBA. Yeah, so. Check top ten, call up to a full board, and then you can shift those to the bottom or top. And put the rest on the top or the bottom? Yeah. That sounds like it would be worth it. I would actually enjoy seeing something more um, chaining attacks. Because that's kind of where our GBAs all get to, except for the Paladins, at least. We start chaining more attacks. Maybe you call them and then on attack. Sacrifice them and call something else. Sacrifice, like, three cards. And then you call up to three. Maybe. I mean, there's lots of things you do like that, but, I mean, that, yeah. that starts to get really broken. And then you... Like, let's say you had something that was like that, like, okay, you superior call, and then battle phase, you could sacrifice that and call something else. I mean, Spike Brothers is going to be salty going, dude, that should be something I get to do. <laughs> Why are you getting to do that? So You chain your attacks in dust. Yeah. So, you I mean, delete better than any deleter I've ever had. Yeah, How dare know. you. Yeah. But anyway, I think I think for Vanguard, those are going to be the, the main things that people see. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 